trying to rest to ignore these warning signs of heart failure. Number one, activity limitation. People with heart failure are often unable to do their normal activity because they become easily tired and have shortness of breath. Number two, fatigue. When the heart can't pump enough oxygen rich blood to meet the body's energy needs, a general feeling of tiredness or fatigue sets in. Number three, congestion. Fluid build up in the lung can result in coughing, wheezing, and breathing difficulty. Number four, edema or ankle swelling. When the heart doesn't have enough pumping power to force used blood back up from the lower extremities, fluid can collect in the ankles, leg, thighs, and abdomen. Number five, shortness of breath. Fluid in the lung makes it more difficult for carbon dioxide and used blood to be extended for fresh oxygen. It may also be harder to breathe when lying down because gravity up the torso. Having these warning signs do not surely confirm the diagnosis of heart failure, but they indicate to have urgent medical checkups. By saying this, let us move to 10 foods that are good for our health. Number one, fish. Eat fish high in omega 3s such as salmon, tuna, and others. Healthy nuts, such as almonds or walnuts, will satisfy your hunger and help your heart. Number two, seeds. Flax seeds contain omega-3 fatty acid, fiber, and phytoestrogens to boost heart health. Chia seed also provide omega-3 fiber and protein. Number three, legumes. Dried beans and lentils such as pinto, kidney, or black beans are high in fiber, B vitamins, minerals, and other good stuffs. Number four, green veggies are high in vitamin K and nitrates, which can help reduce blood pressure and improve arterial function. Studies show that a higher intake of leafy green is associated with a low risk of heart disease. Number five, fruits such as orange, papaya are good examples. Number six, whole grains. Whole grains include all three nutrient-rich parts of the grain, germs, endosperms, and bran. Common types of whole grain include whole wheat, brown rice, oats, barley, and kernel. Compared to refined grains, whole grains are higher in fiber, which may help reduce bad cholesterol and decrease the risk of heart disease. Now, number seven, avocados are an excellent source of heart healthy, monounsaturated fats and potassium. One avocado supplies 975 milligrams of potassium or about 28 of the amount that you need in a day. Number eight, tomatoes. Tomatoes are loaded with lycopene, 
a natural plant pigment with powerful antioxidant property. They may help lower your cholesterol, blood pressure, and the risk of metabolic syndrome. Antioxidants help neutralize harmful free radicals, preventing oxidative damage and inflammation, both of which can contribute to heart disease. Low levels of lycopene are linked to an increased risk of heart attack and stroke. Studies show that eating two raw tomatoes four times per week increased level of good cholesterol. Higher level of HDL cholesterol or good cholesterol can help remove excess cholesterol and plague from the arteries to keep your heart healthy and protect against heart disease and stroke. Number 9. Garlic Garlic have been shown to help reduce blood pressure and cholesterol. They may also help inhibit blood clot formation. Number 10. Green, Green tea. tea is high in polyphenols and cartagens. It has been associated with lower cholesterol, triglycerides, and blood pressure. Including these heart-healthy foods as a part of nutrition, well-balanced diet can help keep your heart in good shape and minimize your heart disease. Generally, what you put on your plate can influence just about every aspect of heart health from blood pressure and inflammation to cholesterol level and triglycerides. This is all I have for today. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.